Most games of ICRPG don't focus on collecting coins or hoarding gold. Being loot focused, more time is spent on items flowing back and forth between players and GMs directly rather than having a middleman like money to get in the way. But what if you do want to have some financial fun in your game? Something that allows money to play a bigger role in character progression. One option is in the new ICRPG Master Edition and in the World's Book, which is technically included in Master Edition. It describes a purchase method of progression and it's meant for games that are more focused on coin. As players go out adventuring, they find coins and treasures to add to their hoard. Eventually returning to town, they can spend those coins to purchase various goods, items, and services. It mentions that one coin is equivalent to a day's worth of work or a meal at a bed for the night. A huge benefit for the purchase method is granting greater control to the players over how their efforts are rewarded, and it saves the GM time. Players get to choose what to spend their coin on, and the GM needs to only provide places for that coin to be spent. But that does bring up a major consideration. Availability. Can you really spend coin in the middle of a dungeon, or do you have to return to town to do so? Additionally, not every vendor in town will have a ring of power just lying in their display case. That's going to lead adventurers to seek out specialty vendors and rare goods as part of their overarching campaign, which could be a ton of fun. But there are alternatives. Instead of counting coins, you could just deal in loot or barter for what you want. Do you want a nice sword? Well, I'll give it to you for that shiny shield of yours. Loot can be constantly exchanged, swapped out, and discussed to decide what is worth what, even if it's multiple items for one thing. Taking it one step further, you can incorporate specifically gold or treasure loot into your game. Most loot provides a bonus or an ability, but there's really nothing stopping you from saying a specific item's ability is to give you a piece of loot. My favorite version of this idea is reducing it down to either a handful of coins, a bag of coins, or a chest of coins. Each of these is then treated as loot and fills up equipment slots. A handful of coin takes one slot, a bag takes two slots, and a chest fills three whole slots. When you get back to town, trade out a handful of coins for a roll on the shabby loot table, or a chest for a roll on the epic loot table. What I like most about this method is filling equipment slots with treasure loot provides tasty choices and dramatic moments. Treasure takes up space that could be used for ability granting items, and is susceptible to being lost or destroyed just like anything else. Corroders don't care if they are eating your magic sword or your chest of coins. However you decide to incorporate money into your game, it's really up to you on how invested you want to get. ICRPG works perfectly well without money, but this is a DIY game that allows and encourages you to make it your own.